Attorneys General from North Carolina, Tennessee, Nevada, and Pennsylvania are investigating Ticketmaster to see if it violated any trade practices or antitrust laws. This comes after millions of people waited online for hours to buy tickets to Taylor Swift's concert. Demand crashed the system. Swift says it's excruciating for her to just watch mistakes happen with no recourse. Joining me right now to talk about the potential legal implications facing Ticketmaster is criminal defense attorney Joseph Tully. Uh, good morning to you. Is this, is this really the first step? Does each state have to file separately before any kind of class action or group consolidation of these lawsuits is warranted? Uh, each state can take independent action. So they, there's federal action that can always uh, apply in antitrust law. However, each state can individually take action. The more states that gang up together, obviously the worse uh, news for uh, Ticketmaster. Right, and U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Amy Klobuchar, they're taking to social media. So it's a lot of people are talking about this, uh, not just Swifties. Cortez is saying uh, the merger between Live Nation and Ticketmaster should have never happened. Klobuchar has tweeted, Ticketmaster is an example of why we need stronger antitrust enforcement. What will happen to the company if they are found liable? So there's civil liability and criminal liability. At this point, usually criminal liability comes when companies try to rig prices, allocate markets, rig bids, things like that. I don't see that here. I see what's happening here is that Ticketmaster is accused of being a monopoly that doesn't care about serving its fan base. So um, I see civil action could be taken against them and they could be broken up in the future. The New York Times reporting the Department of Justice is now launching an investigation. What would that mean for Ticketmaster? Well, it, it certainly is not good. It means that um, they could be facing a breakup, a forced breakup by the government under antitrust law um, and, and possible criminal charges, although that usually comes again with, with rigging prices, rigging big it's that sort of thing. Here, I think the accusation is, look, you're a monopoly. You should have been able to handle this. You didn't because you didn't care because you're a monopoly and it doesn't matter what the consumers or your customers think. So um, th there's, I think the civil action is a little bit more on point than the criminal action at this point, but I think all bets are off the table and, and Ticketmaster should uh, be prepared for anything. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.